Guruji. It is our story. It's a story of you know who we are as individuals, who we are as humans, who we are in the grand scheme of the universe. Right. So that story in itself is biology, and the reason behind that is essentially each one of us is the universe. Right. And you know before I start this presentation, before I start this discussion, uh, I would like to make a very bold claim. And the claim is, we are deeply and intricately interconnected. The whole, I, yeah, the whole idea behind this, uh, you know, uh, statement, uh, uh, this very presentation is to give you a very, uh, you know, slight overview, a feel of why I feel the statement is correct. And by the end of this talk, hopefully, to some extent, a lot of you will agree that yes, we are deeply and in, uh, intricately interconnected. And and I am not even talking about the internet, right? This this connection is is far more fundamental than you can think, right? So at the beginning of the talk itself, uh, I would like to introduce the two quotes that I feel kind of summarize the feelings that we as scientists uh, have towards the field, right? Number one would be life will always find a way and uh, I'll be you know, discussing in a lot more details why I feel this statement by a completely fictional character in Jurassic Park encapsulates the essence of life on earth and the second quote is we are a way for the cosmos to know itself again a quote uh, you know by the very very famous uh, cosmologist Carl Sagan a lot of uh, you know modern scientists current day scientists look up to him as an example of a person who can really really bring science into the daily life and uh, again a, a quote that I really believe in and the idea is by the end of this talk I can convince at least to some extent some of you that yes he was correct so if we look at earth you know, uh, in the very early ages, in the right after Earth was formed, the about say 4.5 billion years ago, it was a rocky, hot, molten landmass where life was impossible. You can see, you know, in, in the background, you can see the moon, you can see the rocky surface of the Earth with the uh, you know molten uh, lava flowing and. A lot, a lot of, uh, you know, bombardment happening on the uh, young earth, right? Mm -hmm. And somehow, over millions and millions of years, earth has traveled a, dis uh, you know, a journey where it has changed from a rocky landscape to a very modern, high-tech, fast-moving world where, uh, you know, life thrives. And not only that, as of now, uh, to the best of our understanding, it is the only planet where life is known to exist in 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 this given form and it's another topic that we can you know delve into another discussion what is life and how do we look for it and all that but yeah in in whatever form that we recognize it most readily earth is the only planet that is known to uh, you know have it. and this transition is a marvelous journey it's a marvelous journey it is this journey that science tries to understand and Biology specifically you know, tries to answer a small piece of this puzzle. Like each field of science tries to answer one part of this puzzle. So when you put all of these together, you get the whole picture. Right? Right. So, you know, talk, uh, okay, coming back to the quote, I said, uh, life will find a way. And why do I believe this? Because in this, you know, immensely long history, you know, Earth, there have been five major extinctions. There have been five times when life from Earth was all completely, you know, destroyed, removed. But despite that, we still have life. Each time, uh, you know, such a mass extinction happened, life found a way to, you know, respawn. Like, you know, in uh, video games, we have that last save point from where you restart every time you die. Uh, right. Life kept finding those uh, moments, you know, restart the journey. And you know, we are, we, we have, you know, very well documented proofs of these five extinctions happening over time. Right? The most famous one being obviously uh, the one that happened about 66 million years ago, where the dinosaurs were 
you know, eradicated. The, the, the dinosaurs were removed from Earth. It's called the KT catastrophe. The, the last mass, the most recent mass ex- extinction, rather. And that is what led to human life to evolve. So, no matter how many times life was destroyed, it kept finding a way to, you know, restart. 